Hey guys, Dave here from Easy Country Cooking and Cooking Share. You know, I got a hankering for ribs, but not just any ribs. I wanted some short ribs that were really, really unique. Went ahead and made them up using this kind of unique, different style, and they came out so good. So I just had to share it with you, so let me show you how to do this. Okay guys, what I've got here are some ribs, and this is about a kilo or so of ribs. And I actually picked these up on sale, guys. I got them for like eight bucks, which I thought was pretty good. And you notice that we've cut these up fairly small into kind of, you know, small chunks, about an inch and a half or something like that. You can have your butcher do, do it like that, or you can buy it like that, or you can take the old bandsaw or hacks or something like I had to do and chop them up. So next up, we're gonna throw these ribs into a pot. And I'm using a fairly large pot here. Pour enough water over the ribs just to cover them. And you know, it kind of depends on the size of pot you have. Now we'll add in three slices of ginger, three bay leaves, a sliced up green onion, a star anise, a hot chili pepper, a couple of cloves of garlic, and some peppercorn. So just go ahead and throw the aromatics into the water with the ribs in it. Then fire up the old stove and let these boil away. Now as these boil, you're going to get a fair amount of residue from the ribs, and I just grab up a strainer, a small strainer here, and just kind of scoop it off. I do this a couple of times. And after about 10 minutes or so, just go ahead and dump these into a strainer. Okay guys, I've gone ahead and pulled all the aromatics out of here. And something you could do with those aromatics, you know, the, the, the stuff you have left over, you could make some soup out of it or something like that, or just go ahead and discard it. But, I mean, man oh man, these ribs are starting to smell really good and we've only just begun. Alrighty then, it's time to make up our simple sauce by adding a tablespoon of dark soy sauce to two tablespoons of vinegar. Then follow this with another tablespoon of sugar. It doesn't get much more simple, does it, guys? Now just mix everything until it is well combined. Now we'll just go ahead and set this aside for a few minutes. Alrighty then, now comes the magical part. We're going to add four tablespoons of vegetable oil to an unheated pan. Then you just kind of want to make sure that oil is well spread out in the pan. So you can use a spoon or just kind of twirl and whirl the pan around, whatever you like to do. But just remember there is absolutely no heat in this pan. Now we're going to add in two tablespoons of sugar and making sure again this is evenly distributed. Now and only now we're going to fire up the old stove and allow that sugar to heat up over medium heat. And you can take a spoon or a spatula and just kind of swirl it around, but you don't want this to caramelize. You just want it to melt in the pan. So we're just going to continuously stir this around and you can begin to see it starting to melt down. And just look at this guys. This is going to be perfect and just kind of swirl it around till it completely combines in with that, uh, that oil. And this is one of the magical tricks I learned about Chinese cooking and the outcome is just absolutely magical, just fantastic. Just you wait and see how this sugar mixture covers those ribs and makes them brown and wonderful. Okay, now let's grab up the ribs and throw them into the pan and this is over medium high heat. You want that pan fairly hot. Then it's simply a matter of tossing the ribs around and watching that magic happen and it just about happens instantly. I mean, you can now see the ribs beginning to get that wonderful, wonderful glaze on them. I mean, just check this out, my friends, and this has only been about a minute or so. I know I sound excited, but I, I never can get enough of this method. And just check this out. Isn't this kind of cool, the way to get that glaze on them? Oh my goodness. I know small things amuse small minds, but wow. Alrighty then, let's go ahead and set those wonderful looking ribs aside in a bowl. Next up, what you want to do is just clean out your pan a little bit. So just grab up a paper towel and wipe it. Chop up about three cloves of garlic. And my only regret when I made this recipe is I should have used more garlic, like five or six cloves, because that garlic when it fries up is just wonderful. However, you can be the boss. Now into the pan with a couple of tablespoons of oil. Now I'm using olive oil, but you know, peanut oil might be better. Go ahead and throw that garlic in and we're just going to stir and saute this for about, oh, I don't know, two or three minutes, something like that, over medium high heat. And oh my goodness, my friends, this is smelling so, so, so good. So now we'll throw that sauce in that's ever been so patiently waiting on the sidelines. And you guessed it, guys, back in with those wonderful looking ribs. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so good. Then grab up a couple of spoons and toss those ribs until it is completely coated with that sauce. And guys, this smells incredibly good and those ribs are coating so beautifully. Man, oh man, and I just love the way they coat it in that sugar and stuff. I think I've already said that, but oh, 
This is just a fantastic process of cooking ribs and it's fast and it's simple. I mean, just check this out. It does not get any better. No matter how you cook ribs, it does not get any better. And you know what? For a little more flavor, I'm going to drop in a few drops of sesame oil, just for the taste and the fun of it. Alrighty then, now it is time to plate those ribs up and just look at them. Now I'm not too sure what to serve these up with. Some mashed, some fries, some swamp seed. Just learn that term. Let me know if you know what it is. But anyway, I'm going to garnish this up with some chopped up green onions. And the smell is incredible, guys, and aesthetically, well, it doesn't get much better. Anyway, I'm going to put some sesame seeds over the top to make it look a little more Asian-like. I mean, you don't have to, but that's just my preference. But just look at this. And there they be, guys, the best, the best, absolutely the goodest, best, sweet and sour ribs you'll ever have. And believe me, these will be a hit with your friends, family, whoever you're having over. But don't be going away yet, because we are doing some tasting. Okay, guys, let's grab some up here. Test my chopsticking skills here. Well, that's not too bad. But just look at this. I just love the berets on them. Oh, yum. This is going to be absolutely fantastic. That sweet and sour rib. Oh, doggies or oh, ribbies. Okay, let's taste these. Notice I've changed from my chopsticks to my hands. <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys. These are so good. They are indeed sweet and sour ribs. Mm, probably about one of the best ribs I've ever had. Yeah. Mm. Mm. They're tender. They're juicy. Mm. And I just love that sauce. A simple sauce, but it's so good. You definitely have to make these. And if you do, leave us a comment because I love reading them. Give us a like because it really does help the channel out. Most of all, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and definitely make these ribs up because they are good. And, of course, I'm going to have more. Mm, so good. Got to make these.